I have something really exciting for you guys today. I have the SpeedyB Flex 25, which is the smallest 2.5 inch Cinewhoop in the world. It's basically a 2.5 Cinewhoop, but the size of a 2 inch. It can carry a naked GoPro. It has F7 inside, 35 amp, and you can configure 100% wirelessly with Bluetooth in the field. It has really, really bright LEDs and it has a super durable frame. It has the SpeedyB TX800 VTX, which as you know, is bang for the buck and is extremely powerful. It has the Runcam Phoenix Nano inside, which can allow you to see in the dark. What's not to like? Let's get right to it. So let's see what we have inside. Okay, slowly, slowly. Okay, we have the quick start manual, set of props, screws. Okay, we have multiple cables. So just to make it easy for you to use either a GoPro Naked 5, 6, 7 or Naked 8 or a Runcam Thumb. So this is a PNP plug and play. So it doesn't have a receiver in, you'd have to install it. I would advise you to just go ahead and install ExpressLRS because it's bang for the buck and it's easy enough to configure and it's, it's a marvel what they can do. Okay, they have the Roncan Phoenix Nano 2. There's a half inch image sensor and an f2.0 huge aperture. So it will be excellent in low light performance and this is what JB, Joshua Bardwell, recommends. Okay, so that's great. Top right here, you have access to the USB, but apparently when you connect it to a uh, USB, for example, you want to connect it to your PC for your for beta flight, you're actually gonna have to connect a LiPo to make sure the AIO F735 amp actually turns on, okay? And here is where the cable is connected for when you mount the either the run cam or the naked 567 GoPro or naked 8. So you just choose which applicable wire that you actually want to use and these wires are then connected to the 5 volt ground and of course you can also connect to UART if you want to control your action camera. Okay, okay, right. So it's mounted as a toilet tank which means your battery is going to be connected sideways like that. Okay, all right, it takes 4S, all right, and I think, looking at the frame, this frame is extremely hard and durable. It's actually made with durable car bumper material, all right, so I think, rather than be like Fox here and call it like indestructible, what basically SpeedyB says, look, this is a really tough son of a bitch, and go ahead and use it you will find it most likely very, very durable for your usage, okay? But I think the marvel is actually going to be the size of this. So this is a size of a two inch, but actually fits two and a half inch propellers. And how do they do that? It's actually because if you look here, you can see from the side, it's actually offset, okay? The motors, this motor is lowered compared to that motor, so then, the height of the propellers, in this case, you can see it here, it actually crosses over, but without interfering with each other. So you can have two and a half inch power carrying a two inch body. 1404, 4500 kV, okay. All right, and this is D63 propellers. Okay, so that's two and a half inch, all right. And looking at the bottom, this is, um, I actually think it's quite neat the way they configure it. Okay, so you have this plate right there to protect the electronics. It has its awesome antenna, SpeedyB antenna, right? And it has its holder for you if you want to install FreeSky or if you want to install uh, Crossfire or Express RS. Okay, so you can put your receiver right there, tied all on the top of the VTX, right? And then just route your antenna out through here. Okay, this is a JST 1.25 and basically it fits into the connector like so. And then you can solder it onto your receiver. Okay, so maybe it's not solderless. 
it's solderless to the drone itself but you will still have to solder it to your receiver right so whether it's free sky spectrum express rs crossfire ghost whatever okay so it has an xt30 connector so this with a capacitor already pre-soldered and shrink wrapped okay so this is for 4s and the next step is actually going to put in LEDs. LEDs are going to fly very, very bright. It has its own BEC, 12 volts, 1 amp BEC, so you don't have to solder it on to the um, flight controller. And it will have its own plug. So you only need to plug that in and then wrap the LED around the drone. And I'm going to do so Shine right now. So thank you very much for staying to right to the end, like and subscribe.